Hello, I'm Tom Caldwell. This is the 13th edition of Insights, and it's September the 2nd. I'm going to be interviewing Liz Domofsky for a change and talking a bit about media because she is the media guru around here. So Liz, we have an election on. Uh, now let's not bother talking about the policies or lack thereof, but let's talk about media. Young people, and I'm looking to you to speak for a younger generation, how do you use media? Uh, politicians use the same thing, signs and these rallies, uh, mainstream media. What does the younger generation do and look for in media? Because I think somehow there's been a change and old white haired guys like me don't get it. But what is the change? I don't think people look at it the same way. Tell me about that. So, you know, it's funny because I was wondering exactly what you were going to be asking me today. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so, so put me on the spot. It is true because a lot of the young people have a, um, a very focused attention span. And so they don't really go to the, uh, the mainstream media and turn on their television, but they do use a lot of their phones. So whether it's TikTok, whether it's Instagram, uh, they don't use Facebook. They're not really Twitter uh, viewers either. So I would have to say that TikTok and some of the other social media that's out there uh, is probably what they focus on the most. And that's where they get a lot of their information. And that's one of the reasons why we actually started doing this. Right. And um, I was interviewing you, you interview me. A couple of minutes of information of what is happening real time right now. Because a lot of people do not have the time to watch an entire show anymore. They may binge on Netflix or or Apple TV or Disney or whatever they are that they're watching. But everybody's attention span is really short right now. So two, three, four minutes is tops. And that's why we started doing this so that we could engage with you, our clients, uh, your friends, family, and everyone else out there that really wants to know what's happening right now. So I'm done with my part. Let's turn to the markets. I kind of thought you'd go on further. Well, <laughs> I, I used the phrase uh, sawtoothing, the market sawtoothing, uh, the last time we were chatting. And, and imagine taking a saw blade and putting it on its side. So you see the little jagged edges of ups and downs. We're going through that period of time right now. Markets tend to do that when it's looking for direction, when it's looking for a new vision. And when you get that new vision, whatever it's going to be, whether it be interest rates, just take the saw and tilt it upwards. It's going to sawtooth on its way up. Or if it's something you know, very, very bad or whatever, tilt it down. And that's what we're going to have. But right now, we're skating sideways, looking for what's the next thing. Is it, is it Taiwan? Is it uh, interest rates? Is it something horrible in the Middle East? We just don't know yet. Or, or basically a domestic issue. So it, we're looking for a direction, I think, at the present time. So now's the time to sort of look at portfolios. What do I need to clean up? Have I got some profits here? Maybe I should take a little bit. That kind of thing. And that's what I'm doing in the portfolios that I'm responsible for. So Liz, thank you. Well, thank you, Tom. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now.